Hey guys, welcome back to the round table. I'm Retro Nemo, and for fans of Rick and Morty, we're in for a wait. Judging by the amount of time it took for season three, and the fact that the writers haven't even started on season four yet, we probably won't see any more Rick and Morty until 2019. That's hard to swallow, I know, but take it with a grain of salt. At least these episodes came out on a consistent basis, unlike some other shows. But today, I don't want to talk about season four. Well, not exactly. Instead, I was going to ask a much bigger question. Guys, when will Rick and Morty end? I know you're probably all saying, nine more seasons and I can hear you. That's right, you need to stop. No, but honestly, how many more seasons will Rick and Morty keep trucking on for? Season three was definitely its biggest season yet. And on top of that, it's also been its most controversial. But you can't argue Rick and Morty is definitely more popular now than it has ever been. So will the show really make it nine more seasons? Well, we can't have a definitive answer to this question. Well, let's look at some evidence to try to figure out our best guess. First of all, it doesn't look like Adult Swim would be canceling the series anytime soon. This thing has been a ratings magnet for the network, quickly becoming its biggest and most profitable show. In season one alone, Rick and Morty was pulling in over a million views per episode. Now, in its third season, it's pulling almost three million views an episode. Put that on a graph and it looks pretty impressive. But most importantly, it shows Rick and Morty is only growing. Season four's numbers will almost definitely be even higher. But it didn't only succeed in viewership. Season three of Rick and Morty was the highest rated comedy on all of television, breaking records for the network and all of television period. With merch everywhere you look to boot, it's safe to say that Rick and Morty is on the top of its game. So the show has nothing to worry about ratings-wise in the future. So now let's take a step away from the numbers and look all together at the show's following. The Rick and Morty fanbase is just giant. There's no other way of saying it. And sadly, like many other fan bases when they explode, Rick and Morty's fandom has become, well, uh, pretty toxic. Things like the annoyance of the Pickle Rick meme and the now infamous Szechuan sauce debacle all painted the show's audience as obnoxious. Plus there was that copy pasta going around of only intelligent people can watch it. Oh, the whole thing was a mess. And for a lot of people that weren't watching the show before this big boom or flat out didn't know anything about the show at all, these events were enough to completely turn them off from it. Sure, Rick and Morty was bigger than ever and had a dead dedicated following, but suddenly this new group was forming. A group of people who hated the show. It began gaining a bad rap on parts of the internet for being fake smart and just overrated. Now I'm not saying this is enough to get the show cancelled. Rick and Morty is by no means a perfect show, and nothing is unanimously loved. But this last season, we definitely saw a change, from this semi-cult cool animated show to something that was in the public's eye, and sometimes for the wrong reasons. These are all contributors to the longevity of the show. To fuel the fire, season 3 was the most, let's say, criticized season so far. Fans complained about too much focus on the divorce plotline, and they were disappointed by the lackluster season 3 finale. If season 4 doesn't address or fix these issues, the show could be at risk of permanently damaging what was honestly an outstanding track record. Every show has that off season, but Rick and Morty really needs to come back or else it could just be going downhill. This could be early signs of the show buckling in the hype. There could be too much pressure from the ever-growing fanbase, and that could be affecting the show's output. Season 3's finale was so underwhelming because it wasn't meant to be the finale. The season was meant to have 14 episodes, but the crew just couldn't get that done with the time they had. They're just a small adult swim team, and animation is one of the hardest mediums to produce. But in reality, I'm not worried here. I think that this is all really just growing pains for the crew. They just need to adjust to all of these new eyes on them and get used to the pressure. They already seem to be back on top with 14 episodes promised for season 4, a step in the right direction. Rick and Morty hasn't clearly set itself up with an overarching story. However, the creators say there is one, although it's subtle. And clearly something's going on as season 3 gave us a long-awaited return of Evil Morty. The show is building up to something, something big. The only thing we can't say for sure is when that thing is coming. They're definitely taking their sweet time with Evil Morty not even being in season 2. Maybe the rise in interest and fan theories pushed them into putting more story into it. But then again, when the secret of the ticket theory blew up, the internet was met by jokes from the crew in the form of a leaked email discussing their super secret story being discovered. They did not hold back. They flat out mocked any idea of a story going on here. Which is kind of conflicting with season 3 because obviously guys, there's something going on. Evil Morty's back. He's in charge of the Citadel. It's safe to say at the rate they're taking it, it will be a while before whatever this arc is wraps up. This gives the story, I think, at least a few more seasons. Looking at all the evidence, the ratings, story, and reception, I think Rick and Morty has a few more seasons under its belt, at least. Who knows, maybe it's gonna make it nine more, or it could be canceled tomorrow. Television is crazy, let's just hope season four makes that 14 episode limit. For more Roundtable, tweet to us at Roundtable Vids or me at It's Retro Nemo. If you like the video, like and share it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. As always, I'm Retro Nemo, this is Rick and Morty Fan Theory, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.